High school football. Oh, God, did I love high school football. God, I just remember the, the, the smell of the grass, uh, the, the chance to go out there and, and wreck some havoc on some people, and just, and just having a grand old time. Oh, I was terrible. I was really an awful football player. Most of the time, I was getting the crap beat out of me. And uh, But, you know, something. There, there, there's still a lot of good memories there. Mostly because when I have any bad memories, I mostly have them repressed, probably because of all the concussions. I, I think of the bad memories, and, and all of a sudden, my nose bleeds all the time. But uh, anyway, back then we wore leather helmets, so, I mean, it was a hundred years ago. They didn't know anything about neurology or anything. <laughs> well, enough of my problems. I'd like you to meet my friend here, Ashley. Ashley Adamitz. She's a senior cheerleader for Foothill High School in Palo Cedro, California, the home of the Cougars. Ashley walks, talks, dances, and does everything else that a, a regular high school senior would do, uh, but she does hide a little secret. See, that secret is that she is one of the most brave little gals you'll ever see in your entire life. You see, she was diagnosed with leukemia and has been going to regular chemotherapy treatments and uh, is really uh, an incredibly brave and strong young lady. And uh, the football team for Foothill High School uh, decided to go ahead and do something really special for her. As the players entered the field, they each stopped and placed an orange rose at Ashley's feet. Orange being the color for leukemia awareness. Uh, apparently, one of the players, a senior player, had uh, been so influenced by the courageous story of Ashley that he recommended to the head coach, to the team, to the athletic department that they go ahead and do this, this fine gesture um, for this very brave young lady. And uh, it, uh, it really was something. It even caught my eye. It even brought uh, some emotion to my cold, black, dead heart. So I give... Uh, a lot of credit, and I go ahead and I tip my hat to Foothill High School and uh, all the people involved, the football coaches, the uh, athletic department, uh, anyone who had any idea through this, uh, the players. This was, this was something special. This was something that was right. You know, you hear a lot about what's wrong with high school athletics and, and with high school football players, and you hear about arrests and everything else. Well, this is, this is one of the good, good things. So, here's what I'd like you all to do. Uh, I want you to go ahead, take a picture of yourself in orange. Here, here's one of me. God, I'm ugly. Um, I want you to post a picture, either be it on Facebook or Twitter, or even in the comment section down here. I don't know if you can do that on YouTube, but hey, what the hell, you can try. Uh, and I want you to go ahead and put the, uh, the hashtag AshleyStrong down there. Because uh, that's, that's the hashtag that she's going with here. Uh, and Ashley, if you're watching, uh, thank you. Thank you for, for putting up this great fight. Uh, you have everyone behind you. Everyone here. Uh, if, they, if they support you as well as they support me on here, uh, then you've got nothing to fear. You've got, uh, you're, you're, you're in for a tough fight, but we're all there with you. And um, uh, again... Thank you to Foothill High School and everyone involved there. Go Cougs. Go out there and do your thing. Uh, I understand you're still undefeated. So at the time of this recording, you are still undefeated. So, hey, it's better than my high school. I don't think they won a game. They won a game two years ago, and that was the last time they won. But anyway, Ashley Strong, I'm going to go out and get that first down like I always do, and I'll catch you on the next Football Memoirs.